To build a positive human space future, we think that it requires all the parts of our society. A lot of times when we think about humans going to space, we think about a landscape where it's, where it's space agencies and hero astronauts, and then at the other end there are visionary sci-fi writers, and in between there's nothing. But we need all the people to populate that. We need the artists and the policymakers and the sociologists and the psychologists and philosophers and all the other kinds of scientists. We need everybody on deck to make this happen. And we also need to bring together that, that triangle of government, private sector, and university. I think we just need to pull together to make this positive human space future. We think that the ways that the positive human space future happens is, is largely to, through two routes. One is um, the research and the development of the program so that we can go to space and we can become an interplanetary species. And, and, and that's especially where we need these other disciplines. So we, we need the engineers to show us how, but we need all the other aspects of human endeavor to show us what it's gonna feel like and how it's gonna work for us as humans. It's an, a human endeavor. And the other part is the education and workforce development. We've gotta get everyone in the world ready to participate in this and to see this as a way that we can be bolder and better in our own lives here on Earth. It's really for inspiration, it's for who we are as humans. About two and a half years ago, ASU President Michael Crow and I started something called Interplanetary Initiative. And we think that we are especially placed at ASU to bring together all disciplines. It's something we do well. We go across the boundaries, we judge less of each other, we are willing to ask the naive questions of each other that get us places really together as a team. And that's what space exploration takes. It takes all the different parts. And so this initiative at ASU, we have prototyped and now practiced for two years a new way to bring together research teams for faster results. Uh, and so instead of having a research team organized around a hero leader, which is normally the academic way, we organize our research teams around big questions. And that way everyone at the table, whether they're from a, a private partner or from a government agency or whether they're students or faculty or staff or from the, uh, from the uh, community around us, they've all got the right seat at the table to help answer that question. So we have this new way of bringing together teams and we have a new way of educating for the future as well.